So Ack went on one of those notorious, infamous, henny-induced rants that he goes on. Um, he went off on my boy Adam. Granted, uh, it's, it's warranted. Adam and Wack, they had a field day with Ack and him supposedly going back to the girl that finessed him out of 500K that um, got him looking crazy on the internet right now. And he apparently went back to her. So, you know, Ack and Adam, they the big petty. You feel me? Big, big petty. So... They, they they went in on um academics and stuff and they talked about this the, the shrimpy they said that his manhood isn't where he it, where it needs to be I don't know where it needs to be I who am I to say I just know I'm African and Allah has blessed us genetically shout out to them look I'll take the big forehead because he gave <laughs> you know what I'm saying no man thank God but uh yeah man Adam surprisingly uh he he um he apologized i know a lot of y'all give me flack about being cool with adam and looking up to adam but man he's giving me a dope opportunity i've got like three or four bookings this month just off the interview with him so man just sh shout out to him honestly man that's my guy i can't i'll look forward to working with him, bro but anyways um <clears throat> he apologized he was like look i kind of went too far and i probably did something that i wouldn't expect act to do and that says a lot because Ak has said some wild stuff. Adam has said some wild stuff. But if you haven't seen any of that, uh, it's my previous two, three videos. Go check it out. But let's see Adam's response to Ak going wild. Shout out Brick and DW, man. Shout out to Adam bringing the show back, the No Jumper Show. They've been gone for several months and they back now. Adam, all you are missing is me to challenge the um, different narratives. You have two gangster perspectives. You have you, the rich nigga, Adam22 perspective, unique. And then you need me. That's all you need. You need a nigga like me. Come on, Adam. Anyways, uh, but yeah, man, let's listen to it. Hey, before we do, please like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know my goal. I'm just trying to retire my parents and inspire my you. That's corny. <laughs> my nigga, from a refugee camp in Africa. I wasn't even supposed to make it out of the country, bro. It went and trimmed every safe for like... 50, 60 bands at a time to where cuz didn't see it till his goofy ass went to go count his money up one day. Nice he said, was That's too nice. You and too, it was like too nice. 550 gone from up out of there. It was supposed to be an M. He said, what he had? Like I five, see, I four, what he, said. he said he left. had half a million tucked it into socks, which also, that's some crazy shit because when she was on the phone with me, she's telling me all that shit was made up. And he talks about that phone stuff later on into the clip, but uh, we'll get which back to him. I don't know if I believe that. I it feels know, more like like it's, I don't really see that as being on brand for him to just. I mean, lie but if you it. could trim him, he's a trick. But yeah, he's trying to eat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, but he says he got all the money up. back. Never. From, from who? Never. From her? Yeah, you never gonna get all. You might not. You might get ninety percent. You might get. Yeah, spend some okay, of her. Yeah, might not. Bro. <laughs> she spit. A chunk of that shit the day she robbed you. Might she not. Chanel, Gucci, Louis, Before, whatever okay, she did. And my baby mom get. And he goes kind of crazy from what I heard. I only saw like ten minutes of it, but he he's then. He gets that response from her where she where she hits him up and tells him about this, that, and the other thing. And he gets on stream and he goes kind of crazy from what I heard. I only saw like 10 minutes of it, but he he's mad. He's pissed off at me. And I understand why, because he's hearing her tell this crazy ass version of it. And he's also just thinking, why the fuck would Adam get on the phone with why? my girl for fuck. any reason ever? And as soon as he said, because we talked last night for like an hour, as soon as he said that, I'm like, oh man, I really fucked up. Because even though I got on the phone with her, that's real, man. That that's real. I know y'all got uh, heavy criticism on my boy, but that's real, man. We all make mistakes. We all human at the end of the day. He like, look, this nigga said some wild shit about me and my wife. Y'all watched that. I watched that two, three hour live stream a year or two ago when Ak was just going crazy. Now, granted, I guess Adam um, brought Selena on and what she said about academics hindered him from certain deals. So I can understand that. But just the wife stuff and Adam 22 coe content over everything he took it he took it on the chin he feel me he moved forward now him being able to sit up here and say like man i fucked up that was too much you feel me i i wouldn't expect act to be talking to some girl i slept with so for me to be doing it i just realized it's bogus that's real man shout out my boy she was just gonna tell me some Shit crazy. Got on the phone yeah it's why am i on the phone in the first he ain't place supposed to be talking your bitch. and i just been talking about him on the podcast and I didn't hit him up to give him fair warning like I'm right. fucking Israel being like, yo, we're about to drop some fucking bombs on you. Adam, lay you to death, my boy. But why mix something so severe with something so surface level content BS? Like, well, you didn't need to do that, my boy. Y'all, I just 
didn't t say anything to him. So the fact of me getting on the phone with her in the first place, it's going to look weird. And the thing about me DMing with her, which we had never DMed before this either, but the thing about me DMing with her is she can send the screenshots of the DMs. She's probably not going to fake DMs, right? Mm -hmm. So he can read the DM and see exactly what I said. As soon as I say one thing to her on the phone and she can say this is what he said on the phone, mm -hmm. then shit is really going to get twisted up and fucked up, right? So I don't really blame him for being pissed off about that. But as soon as I get on the phone with him, I start realizing that he's in a position where – he doesn't really feel comfortable communicating about the relationship past or present with her because she's basically like at any given turn at any moment if he says anything about her then she's gonna go nuclear and she's gonna fuck his shit up Damn. for days that's such a rough situation bro like any nigga knows what that situation is like any guy you feel me um just when you in a you in a tough pickle, man. Now niggas say they love crazy women. Niggas say they love crazy girls, right? And then niggas love crazy girls until they start being crazy. You feel me? From far away, from a distance, when they smiling and the crazy don't come out. Yeah, I want a crazy girl. But when you get one, like damn, this thing is back against the wall. Got all the millions. Like damn, I can't even say nothing too much. I just have to tolerate her because if I say the wrong thing, she she tearing everything up. Like she going, tch. that's crazy. She really is a wild child too. Cause, oh, I, I don't like her for what she did to my boy academics, but the fact that she clowned, I'm talking, <laughs> she clowned a uh, fat boy, Stutterbox. Oh my gosh, she clowned <laughs> Stutterbox. <laughs> I was crying. <laughs> She was clowning him. Y'all got to see this. What did she say? Oh, my God. She was clowning him. She said, and Poetic Flacco thinks I'm dating him. He's so much of an act lover. Uh, uh. But act was going going too, a little bit too crazy. Yo, for the other weirdo niggas be like, yo, they have Yo, somebody be like, yo, yo. Actually, no, my assistant texted me. He was like, yo. They think they could end the academy because they have a picture of you. Pussy, I could, I could send y'all a picture of me with my asshole spread open. Pause. I would never do that. I That's the picture Adam was talking about. What, uh, old girl. Nigga, when you beefing with them niggas over there at, uh, at um, Fig Community World, nigga, and they kicking your ass in numbers because they got more litmus, nigga. Bro, you. Did you know that there's a simple. Again, a nigga don't got premiums. I know y'all gonna be in the comments like, damn, this fool don't got no premium. I don't. Why you think I'm working hard to be rich and afford premium? You hear me? Nah, but um, it's dope. It's dope to see Adam like, you feel me? I was going a little bit too overboard. And he's in a situation, you feel me? Just seeing that human side of my boy is like, it's cool, you feel me? Academics too. I, I'm a fan of academics. I, I, you know, former chat nigga learned a lot from academics, but... He, uh, he got Poetic Flacco, you feel me? He got somebody already hanging on in his nutsack. He got somebody that's, you feel me, that's already living every day, waking up every morning to worship and idolize Ak, you feel me? So it's cool, you feel me? I can't really. Team Adam, you feel me? Big no jumper, man. It's like, I'm playing. But what y'all think, you feel me? Is Ak just in a bogus situation? And this goes to show y'all, you feel me? No matter how much, like, don't ever get with a girl you would have gotten with or girl a guy anybody of your preference don't get with someone you wouldn't have gotten with if you didn't have the money would act be with that type of girl if it's what 10 11 years ago in college saving up money you feel me would he be no so that's the advice to the uh a little word of advice from that little video jump in the comment section let me know what y'all think about adam whack and this whole beef you feel me and like, comment, subscribe is just a few buttons. You feel me? Click, 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 click. That's all. And they just trying to retire their parents, man. That's it. That's all.